Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a shopping haul. So I went shopping as ever, I know because I'm a shopaholic and in this video I'm going to show you what goodies I bought. Now I went to Primark, went to Poundland, went to Peacocks and a charity shop so I've got a nice mixture of things to show you. So I really hope you like the video and if you do please click like, please comment and please subscribe to my channel because that would be awesome. Also down below in the description box are all the links to my social media so come and follow me and add me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Goodreads, yeah. Anyway I'm going to stop rambling now and show you what I bought. By the way do you like my earrings? I got these in Primark last week and I just love them. I think they're so cool. They're so cool. Anyway, right, so first of all, I want to show you this t-shirt that I got for Nathan. Nathan is my fiance, so anyone that's new to my channel. And yeah, I do have a tendency to kind of, when I'm shopping for me, kind of look for stuff for him as well. I like dressing him up like a Ken doll, do you know what I mean? <laughs> But I know like his fashion, I know what he likes to wear and stuff, so it's pretty easy. But yeah, I got him this t-shirt. This is like £2.50, which is a bargain. And I really like the colouring of it. And uh, these t-shirts fit him really well. He likes them. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So it just says California. California love. Da, 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 da. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And cheap and cheerful. Lovely. Okay, so... Next up, I've just literally got this massive bag fulls of stuff here, so I'm just going to like delve in and just pick things out, okay? Um, I have, I don't know where the hanger is, but I have this bra, which I got from Poundland, because it's really good now. Uh, Pep & Co have uh, started opening in uh, one of the Poundlands in Southend. The other one hasn't got it, but the other one in the Royals Shopping Centre has, so they've got lots of like clothing and stuff. And yeah, I got myself a couple of bras, including this one. This is such a lovely colour. It's like a whiny, purpley kind of colour, and it's got the black underneath. It's not really padded, but well, a little bit actually. No, now I'm filling about. There is a little bit of padding at the bottom, um, but not like overly padded. You know, you can get some bras that are really thick padded. It's not like that, but it is a little bit padded. And I love the detail at the side as well. It's really pretty. So this was £3.50, which is great. You know, £3.50 for a bra. Um, so yeah, what I'll do, any of these clothes I show you, I'll take some photos afterwards and I'll just add them at the end of the video, selfie time, uh, so you can just see what the actual items look like on me. Okay, so got that bra and I did get some knickers to match, oh here they are, that's good, I thought I was going to have to like reach right to the bottom of the bag but it's all good, I found them. So yeah, these match them and uh, they're really nice, I love them, they're so pretty. So they literally are like a set. You can obviously get them on their own, but they are a set. So I'll show you what they look like on the photograph. But they fit really well. I tried them on when I got home and they were nice. So got those. Um, and here's the other bra that I got, also from Poundland. And I think this one's a bit dearer. Yeah, this was £5. But what this is, is like a proper, super padded bra. I mean, literally literally take my word for it this is padded as <laughs> um so it's just like really pretty black bra and it's got that nice little red bow on it once again i do like the detail on the side but oh my god the padding in this bra is it's like thick thick padding now you might be thinking if you're a regular viewer or if you're a new viewer why would i need a padded bra because i have quite big boobies but the thing is my boobs yeah they are big but without getting too much detail, they kind of <laughs> they kind of hang a little bit. Do you know what I mean? They're a little bit saggy. So bras like this with like added support, padding, kind of just gives them that lift and that support and a bit of cleavage and yeah. So that's why I wear bras with like extra padding in. So that is that. And it's really nice as well. Sometimes, you know, I like all my pretty designed bras, but other times I just want like a plain black bra. Do you know what I mean? Anyway. So, also from Primark, or as my friend calls it, Primarni, I got some jeans. Now, I'm very excited about this because I managed to get into Primark jeans. Um, I've been losing weight and for a long time I could not get into Primark jeans. Like, I could get into the jeggings and the leggings, fine. But anything with, like, you know, you have to do up with a button and a zip, just weren't going on. So, I thought, I saw these, I like these, bet they don't fit, but 
they did so I'm very happy about that so these are super stretch skinny ultra soft size 18 and they're love, lovely colour like a stone wash is it I don't know if you call that stone wash like a light denim like white kind of blue colour and uh, I just really like them they fit so nice they're really comfortable and they, they do feel really soft on, on your skin as well so perfect length as well so I'd wear these well with anything really like trainers or whatever but I'd also wear them with my, my little boots and stuff so yeah these were bear with me I'm looking for the price these are £12 so I think they're nice and as I say, I will add the photos at the end so you can see what they look like. Okay, also, I've got more clothes here from Primark. I got this top here. This was £4 and I love the colouring of it so much. Look at that. I really like that. The only thing I'm not sure about with this top, and I actually asked the girl who was serving me, is about the neck. The neckline's a bit weird because it's this weird kind of, kind of frilly neck. It's really weird. So I thought it was a, a neck that would you kind of like roll over like that. But when I tried to do it, it just went upwards. And I was like, maybe it's not supposed to be rolled over. So anyway, I asked the girl and she was like, no, no, you don't roll it over. You literally just have it kind of frilly upwards. So I was like, okay. But I really love the colour. I think it looks so nice. Especially like my dark hair and stuff. So yeah, I got that. I had to get it in a size um, 14 to 16. Even though I'm more of an 18, 20. But I, I tried it on and it fits. So I was like, okay. <laughs> um, and I got, oh my god this skirt is just oh, I'm so excited about this this is a dog tooth print skirt and this I think this was only like £4 as well yeah £4 for a skirt I mean seriously it's amazing uh, so I did get it in a size 20 sometimes I get an 18 sometimes I get a 20 sometimes I get a 14 sometimes I get a 16 like literally different clothes fit me in different ways and I just yeah I don't care about a number I just think does it feel comfortable does it look okay who, who cares what you know it says on the tag um, I know some people get a bit like funny about it but I don't know why people are embarrassed about saying oh I'm an 18 or I'm a 20 or I'm a 16 or it doesn't matter it's just a number anyway rant over <laughs> this skirt I love because I absolutely love dog tooth like design I've got a dog tooth uh, design coat as well for this winter and I, I just love it I think it's really cool it fits so nice as well it's gonna look great in the winter uh, with some nice black tights or in the autumn whenever um, I just really like it I just really like it and I got this it's kind of not rainbow but it's kind of rainbow-ish coloured stripy jumper uh, so this was eight pound and uh, this is quite new in I hadn't seen this until recently and uh, yeah it's got a nice high neck so I keep my little neck warm long sleeves and just yeah I really like the colouring of the, the different stripes together so got that as I say I will include the photos because when you're just holding things up you can't see what they look like do you know what I mean until they're on you won't know that's my t-shirt that I was wearing before so I don't know the one that is in the bag um, right this I got from Poundland for a pound I can't believe literally this was just a pound uh, so it's a facial sonic cleansing brush so for facial cleansing and it's got all these different like heads and stuff on it that you can use on your face um, towel dry after each use water resistant battery operated fully portable for travel so there it is at the back and it's just got all these like different heads and stuff as I say that you can use so um, yeah it exfoliates it cleanses and it massages it was just a pound which was really bargain so I don't know what it's going to be like it might be really good might be really rubbish for for a pound I thought I would just take a chance um, oh I've got this so did I really need this? Probably not. Did I really want this? Yes. So I bought it. Um, so this was £3. It's in the homeware section at Primark. Look how cute is this little LED light star. And the little face. Look at the cute little face. It's so cute. And it shows at the back that it lights up like that. So just like in the middle of the face is where it will light up. But I love this. I've got lots of LED lights like on my bookcase and stuff. So like in front of my books there's like different LED lights and it, yeah it just kind of lights up my bookcase and I'm going to put this somewhere I don't know where because I've kind of run out of space but I'll move a few books along that way and this way and I'll make room because that is just so super cute <laughs> okay right so there's nothing more in there okay so 
Next thing I want to show you is this rucksack. And this is a unicorn themed rucksack. It's from Peacocks. It was £10. Now, I won't bore you too much, so I'll just keep this story really, uh, really short. I love unicorns. By the way, it's unicorns all over it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the other day I bought a unicorn themed bag in Primark and it was silver. It had a unicorn horn on it. It's really cute. Got it home and done the haul with it, showed it. And then I went to actually put all my stuff in it to change over to that bag and realised that there were no compartments inside. So I normally like a compartment for my phone and a compartment for, you know, bits and pieces, keep things separate so it's easy to find. Anyway, there wasn't one in this one. Um, so I was like, no. And, and also, when I was starting to put my stuff in, I realised that it was just way too small because I've got a lot of crap that I put in my bag. So I was like, this isn't going to work, is it? So yeah, I had to take it back, had the receipt, luckily got my money back and um, I still wanted like a unicorn theme bag and I got this in Peacocks as I say. Now another confession is that this is from the kids section in Peacocks and I'm not clearly not a kid, I'm 39 but I just really love it, I think it's so cute, I love ki like kitsch cute stuff and do you know what, who cares if it's from the kids section, I don't care, I actually um <laughs> I rung my fiance out, Nathan, and while I was shopping, and I sent him a photo of it, and I was like, babe, can you check your, you know, I've sent you a photo, could you check your me messenger and see what the bag looks like? Because it is from the kids section. Does it look silly if I would wear it? So anyway, he had a look at the picture, and he was like, it does look very childish, but then who cares if you like it? I was like, yeah. He said, have you, you tried it? Does it fit well? I was like, yeah. Because you always worry with, like, kids' bags if they're not going to fit because they're small. Like, it literally fits perfect like it really does feel very comfortable let's put it over the shoulder. I mean obviously you could wear just over the shoulder but it does fit like as a rucksack which is how I wear it so anyway I've got that isn't it cute though with the little rainbows and unicorns <laughs> I'm a big kid seriously okay next up I got some booties so um yeah I love wearing boots I literally with skirts leggings jeans whatever so these were £8, which I thought was a bargain actually, because they're really nice, they're really, really nice boots. They're from Primark, and they're like this kind of velvety, and I like this bit, I don't know if you can see in the light, but there's this kind of like ribbed bit, there we go, like a ribbed section there, like a V, anyway. Um, it's got some nice grips underneath. <laughs> Any regular viewer will know that when I buy shoes and boots, they do have to have a nice bit of grip underneath I don't like them slidey shoes because I fall over and hurt myself uh, so I've got a bit of grip a little bit of a heel and I just really like them and they're just like literally there's no zip or anything just pull them on pull them off really comfortable as well I was literally walking around in the shoe section just like you know like you know you do that like because you, you don't want to get home they don't fit but I was walking around for ages in them just to make sure they were comfortable and they were very comfortable so haha got them okay from the charity shop I got myself this cardigan um, which is so nice and I don't think this is from a shop I think someone has actually knit this cardigan man it's amazing so I love cardigans I, I literally love cardigans I think it was from like being a little girl and seeing my grandma always wearing a cardigan she either had a jumper on or a cardigan mainly a cardigan and I used to as a kid like dress up and put her cardigans on whenever she was looking after me I'd be around her flat and I'd just like come out and I'd be wearing a cardigan she'd be like Laura get my cardigan off I'm like, mm. anyway um so I love cardigans and this one is so nice it's like this lovely baby pink and uh, it, it just literally because I've looked for a label in it and there is none I, I honestly think it's been like hand knitted which kind of makes it a little bit more special maybe I'm weird but so yeah it, it fits really well it's like perfect length it's all snug and I, lo I love pink anything pink I'm all over it so I've got that from New Look we're nearly done we're nearly done I promise from New Look I've got this awesome shirt oh my god I love this so this is um Hold on, how much was this? $14.99. Um, but it is from New Looks, so they're a bit more costly than like Primark. But look at this. I'm going to quickly put it over my top here. Oh my god, I love this. I have wanted a checked, like, uh, tartan shirt for ages. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know why I always pay out. Anyway, um, yeah, I saw one in um, Primark, but it was way too long. And it looked like it was going to be really tight, so I didn't even bother trying it on. Um, but this one, perfect length, fits really well. Um, 
it's just lovely I really love it so yeah I really like that anyway and also I'm really pleased because I've definitely lost weight because I've not been able to get into a size 18 in new look in a shirt for ages because I've got big boobies and I'm a bit chubby and they just wouldn't do up so I thought I saw it hanging up I thought oh I'll try it on it probably won't fit Ugh. but I tried it on and it fit perfect so I was like yes yes so oh this oh my god this is so cute so this is from Primark, this was in the reduction section, always worth looking in the sale section, you can find some bargains. So this was originally £8, reduced to £3, it is pushing. So I saw this ages ago, um, if you're a regular viewer you'd have probably seen it in a Come Shop and With Me video when I'm actually in Primark filming. Um, and I didn't get it simply because it was £8 and it looked a little bit short, like a bit cropped for me. But I thought for three pound, who cares if it's a bit short? <laughs> I can still wear it. I can wear it with a little skirt or something. But it is just so cute. I love the pinkness of it. The lovely baby pink colouring. Got the little cute pusheen motif there. So I just really loved it. So for three pound, I was like, let's do this. Okay, not very exciting. But I got these from Poundland. It were medium sized mail bags really not exciting you can't really make anything about postage bags exciting can you really um but i do like send books off to people and stuff like that or ebay stuff so i needed some little bags uh got this little mystery bag here the playmobil um which i i know is a bit weird but i love things like this little mystery pack so yeah the playmobil figure these are quite girly so i don't know what i'm gonna get um, see if I've got enough time because my camera battery is telling me I've only got that much life left so if I hurry up I might have time to actually open this but if not um, I'll just have to tell you another time what one I've got uh, so also nearly dropped out of the bag and broke but luckily I didn't I got this aftershave here and this is for Nathan uh, this is called gold dollar now basically uh, there's a little shop near me called mixtures and they do lots of different stuff but one of the things they do like these fake um, labeled like perfumes and aftershaves so they literally are smell smell you likes I suppose you could call them and they literally do smell like the the big brand stuff uh, so this is supposed to be um, the replica of I don't know what it's called but it's lady million but the man's version I don't know if it's called one I can't remember but it's, it's the man's lady million basically um, so yeah it really does smell like it honestly it's mad I, I don't know how they do it but it smells like mmm so nice so Nathan likes these and thing is like he used to buy all the expensive aftershaves but he said these actually last longer and when I said that to the guy in the shop he was like yeah a lot of people say that they actually last more amount of hours than the dear stuff which doesn't make any sense whatsoever um, yeah I picked him up that sometimes he wears a uh, dupe hom I think it is but that one he sprayed it on him and I was like mm, it's lovely I do like him to smell like aftershave and nice deodorant stuff like that it's nice isn't it anyway uh, next up also not very exciting thing to show but hey mayonnaise this is my favorite mayonnaise it's Heinz mayonnaise creamy and smooth I don't like any other brand it's got to be Heinz mayonnaise. It's the only mayonnaise that I'll eat. I just, I'm very fussy. Um, and last thing to show you is this book, which I picked up in a charity shop. So th this is a... I'll keep it short, but this is a weird story, right? So currently I'm reading a book by the same author uh, who is called... I can't remember. There we go. Cody Keplinger. And um, I'm reading a book called... Uh, I can't remember what it's called, <laughs> it didn't happen that way, or something like that. Anyway, it's a really good book, just can't remember the title at this minute in time. But um, because I enjoyed her writing, I looked up to see what other books she'd wrote, and uh, at the back of the book, one of them was this one, and the other one is The Duff, which I've um, listened to an audio book, and also I've seen the film of on Netflix, really good, worth checking out. Um, and then it also said about this book here, so I was going to go on eBay to look it up and try and order it because if I like an author I want to get other books that they've done kind of thing um, and it, literally I went in the charity shop looking around always look at the books like you do and there it was just sitting there I was like huh that can't be so yeah it's called Lying Out Loud and uh, I'm just really excited to read it it's kind of young adult kind of uh, bit of drama but yeah if you like the duff 
and uh, her other books. This is supposed to be one of the really good ones that she's done. So, a pound as well. Bargain. Bargain. And that is it. Oh, apart from my Boots Health and Beauty magazine, which I got for free because I'm a Boots Advantage card holder. Oh, well, yeah. I do like looking through these, even though most of it, to be fair, is just advertisements. But it gives me science to just... You know, if you're just sitting on the toilet or something and you just want to look for a magazine. <laughs> Great, now you know I read magazines on the toilet. Okay, so it looks like I might have enough time to do this. Hopefully, battery. Um, let's see what we've got. I think you might have to put it together. I don't know. So if that is the case, Nathan will be helping me because I'm crap at putting like little toys together. Well, I think it started when I was a kid and I used to get the Kinder Egg toys and used to have to make them. I couldn't make them. Couldn't make them for dear life. My dad had to do them or my mum. So even now as that I cannot make them. I mean it might be made. I don't know. But it feels like there's lots of bits. By the way everyone, as I say, don't forget, please click like, comment, subscribe. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Um, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, click the notification bell as well. And then you can see when I upload videos, do live streams and stuff. Social media links down below. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Goodreads. I think this is, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm going to try and make this because this, this looks like I could make it. Oh, oh God, that frightened the life out of me. Where's the body gone? Oh no, I've just lost the body. Here we are. <laughs> this is, I think, a witch, which is really awesome. Witch is really awesome. How does this go in there? Because it looks like it... See, look, I'm absolutely crap at these things. Surely you just push it in like that. No. Oh. Anyway, yeah, it's a witch, which is really cool. Witch is really cool, because I love witches. I think it's a witch, because the hat, yeah, it's got to be a witch, isn't it? Well, that, that's kind of what it looks like, but not been made properly. <laughs> that is really cute. I like that. No, she's got hair as well. Or is that a cloak? Oh, I don't know. Her arm's going there. Look, it's just not going in. Oh, well, there we go. No, it's dangling out. <laughs> oh, anyway, Nathan can help me with that, I'm sure. And it is the witch one, which uh, on the front... Oh, she's got red hair. Oh, okay, there we go. It's this one here that I've won, which is pretty cool. See the witch? Because, I, yeah, I'm obsessed with, like, witches and stuff like that. So it was... It was meant to be, especially for like Halloween coming up. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm pleased I got that. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope you like what I got. Tell me what you like the best and carry on watching. I'm going to very quickly take some selfies of myself in my new clothes and just add them on at the end with some like funky music over the top. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Carry on watching for the photographs and I'll see you very soon. Lots of love. <laughs>